Improve your bottom line with the speed of light. Light care solutions for the aerospace and defense industry. Viewers of this video presentation will learn three key takeaways about how light care technology can improve manufacturing for the aerospace and defense industry. Light care solutions provide process efficiencies. Light care conformal coatings with secondary moisture care address shadow areas on high density printed circuit boards and additional efficiencies can be gained through process automation. As manufacturers face challenging economic conditions, they are seeking ways to increase productivity while reducing costs and improving product performance without sacrificing product quality. How can these initiatives translate to your bottom line? Light care solutions can help improve the effectiveness of your assembly line, maximize product throughput, offer more environmentally friendly processes, and generate better performance overall. Increasing manufacturing efficiency starts with an objective, takes product performance into account, and is converted to a process improvement. Improvements are often driven by costs, time, volume, design changes, and related goals, market needs, or even internal company or corporate goals and objectives. Addressing the complete manufacturing process can yield significant improvements from established norms. In printed circuit board manufacturing, a key part of the assembly process is the surface coating or conformal coating on the PCB and how it improves performance and productivity. Other process improvements in PCB assembly include board masking, potting, ruggedizing, and stacking. Ultimately, these printed circuit boards and final component assemblies will be key contributors to the critical performance in avionic and data control systems, such as traffic avoidance, navigation and guidance, aircraft health, and environmental control systems. Some products, such as maskants, will be temporary, and some, like conformal coatings and ruggedizing materials, will stay on the PCB as a necessary performance enhancement. How does light care technology work? Light curable materials, or LCMs, cross-link using ultraviolet and or visible light energy. When a light curable material is exposed to energy of the proper wavelength, it will start curing and then stop when light is turned off or removed from the cure area. The electromagnetic spectrum is defined as the range of wavelengths or frequencies over which electromagnetic radiation extends. The typical UV curing process focuses on the 315 to 405 nanometer range and sometimes the visible light range. Essential components of the curing process are the proper LCM compatibility at wavelength as well as the proper curing intensity. UV light curable materials are typically comprised of four components. The first component is the oligomer, which gives an LCM its basic properties such as chemical resistance or heat resistance. The second component, the monomer, adds specific properties to the formulation, such as elongation, flexibility, increased adhesion, or lower shrinkage. The third component is the additive, which provides fine tuning for color, fluorescence, or surface tackiness. And the fourth component is the photo initiator, which gives the LCM the ability to cure. All the elements together become the formulation for the light curable material. But to initiate the curing process, the LCM requires the proper curing energy. The photo initiator is designed around the spectral output of the curing equipment being used. In this diagram, the peak at the 385 nanometer wavelength aligns with the photo initiator of the adhesive, as shown in the pyramid illustration on the previous slide. Formulations are also designed for a specific type of curing mechanism. For example, a broad spectrum light curing unit has a spectral output from 315 to just over 400 nanometers into the visible range. The photo initiator will be optimized to match the same range. When using LED curing systems, the wavelength is very narrow or at one specific wavelength, say 365, 385, or 405 nanometer. Optimizing a formulation for LED curing means the photo initiator needs to match the same wavelength to initiate and complete the curing process. These illustrations depict the polymerization process of light curable materials. 
The first step shows the light curable material in an unreacted state. In the second step, the curing process begins. This occurs when the photo initiator in the material is exposed to the energy source of the proper spectral output. It excites and fragments photo initiators, resulting in the generation of free radicals. The third step shows polymer propagation. The free radicals begin to attach themselves to the acrylates that make up the light curable material, which results in polymeric chain radicals. This process is repeated until all radicals are attached, resulting in polymer termination, or basically cured material, as seen in the fourth and final step. The benefits of light cure technology. So why should someone choose a UV solution for their application? The main reasons manufacturers utilize UV light curing in their process are the fast care times, use of a one component, 100% solids material, and because the materials are worker and environmentally friendly. Light care technology provides on-demand cure, smaller equipment footprint, no racking for drying time, lower energy and equipment maintenance costs, as well as reduced handling time, disposal costs, rework, and scrap yield. All these benefits reduce operation costs and increase the bottom line. These savings typically generate a 30% reduction in production costs. Light curable materials offer advantages over other technologies, including lower annual operating costs due to low energy demand and high throughput, 100% solids environmentally friendly product, and increased production capacity due to fast cure times and a small production footprint. This comparative assembly chart illustrates the difference in relative costs of a light cure process versus two-part epoxy in RTV silicone systems. Light cure chemistries offer the following benefits. On-demand curing, 100% solids, strong bonds to a large variety of substrates, resistance to chemical exposure and environmental conditions, a wide range of viscosities to support specific design needs, highly visible color in the uncured state for confirmation of material placement, and fluorescing formulations for high-speed automated visual inspection. Manufacturers can further lower their operational and maintenance costs by using LED light curing systems in their process. LED curing systems offer many environmental benefits, including no mercury disposal, as with traditional broad spectrum bulbs, instant on off, and cooler cures, which minimize thermal rise during the curing process. Some of the opportunities where light cure solutions can be incorporated into avionics systems and engine components include landing gear, sensors, flight control systems, and many others. Light cure conformal coatings. Conformal coatings are thin protective polymeric coatings that provide protection of printed circuit boards from environmental damage like dust and moisture without adding excessive cost or weight to finished components. These coatings conform to the board, allowing for excellent protection and coverage, ultimately extending the life of PCBs. Conformal coatings are applied in a variety of ways, including dipping, brushing, spraying, and flow coating. But the most commonly used application method is spraying. Coatings are sprayed over the complete board, or more efficiently, in a selective process where the coating is only applied where needed. Quite often, printed circuit boards have shadow areas that are found beneath high-profile components where conformal coatings are likely to flow. In the case of light curable coatings, these areas may not fully cure because they are hidden from light exposure. If shadow areas are present, it's important to have a secondary curing mechanism. Heat cure, or moisture cure, which cures with ambient moisture, can eliminate concerns about uncured material on a PCB. Once applied, typically by spray dispensing, curing depends on the shape and complexity of the printed circuit board as well as the thickness of the conformal coating. Unlike solvated chemistries, UV cure is typically very fast and happens in seconds. Secondary cure depends on the cure type. However, with a tack-free UV cure, secondary curing can happen while boards are undergoing further processing. 
When comparing UV light cure materials with secondary moisture cure to other chemistries, many advantages are available that can lead to an increase in process efficiency. Actual advantages that many current commercial materials can deliver are immediate tack-free curing in seconds, fast secondary cure under ambient conditions that can occur in as little as two to three days, workability, which is of great value to manufacturers of expensive printed circuit boards, the lack of board or component damage from excess heat or temperature processing, and fluorescent capability to ease board inspection. Conformal coatings must also meet a variety of industry standards, including UL 746E standard, which measures the ignition resistance of a conformal coating to electrical ignition sources, MIL I 46058C, which is a material standard used to evaluate and document that a coating meets specific performance qualities. The standard defines a uniform set of test methods and performance requirements for conformal coatings that gives users confidence that the material will perform as intended. And NASA STD 8739.1, which prescribes NASA's technical and quality assurance requirements for polymeric applications for electrical and electronic assemblies. Conformal coatings can also undergo additional performance testing, including sulfur flower resistance, flexibility retention, thermal shock, temperature, and salt fog resistance. Application success. This chart illustrates the number of processing steps and time it takes to ruggedize, mask, and conformal coat a printed circuit board using traditional urethane and solvated chemistries. The data is based upon a TDS with a minimum two-coat recommendation. This chart illustrates the number of processing steps and time it takes to ruggedize, mask, and conformal coat a printed circuit board using an automated robot dispense system and UV light care solution. Using a light curable material reduces processing time by 201 minutes, increases throughput by 37 boards, and eliminates the masking step in the process. Other UV solutions for avionics systems. There are dozens of applications on the printed circuit board where light care solutions can provide process efficiencies while meeting design and performance requirements for avionics systems. These applications range from ruggedization to wire tacking to encapsulation and staking on both rigid or flexible circuits. As sensor technology improves, more and more camera modules are being incorporated into components. Some key applications that light care solutions are being used for include bonding the camera lens, fixturing the camera lens barrel to the lens holder, bonding the lens holder to the PCB, and reinforcing the FPC. PCB protection, light curable maskings. When a printed circuit board is designed, there are select areas on the PCB that need to be free of coatings. These keep out areas include the pin connectors, through holes, or zones on the board itself. Light curable maskings are used to protect the keep out areas during the conformal coating process. PCB maskings provide users with many benefits, such as the ability to conform to simple through holes in complex connector configurations, compatibility with copper and gold pins, easy application by automated jetting or bead dispense, as well as manual dispense processes, and protection during both UV and solvated conformal coating. Light curable maskings also provide one layer coverage with one cure cycle, fluorescing for inline inspection and no residue, pass SIR testing for cleanliness, halogen-free chemistry, and easy removal in one piece after cure. Light curable maskings are used to protect engine components from a wide variety of surface finishing processes, including airflow testing, plasma spray, grit blasting, CNC machining, as well as plating, anodizing, and acid stripping. These images illustrate how a component is protected during a mechanical surface treatment process. The picture on the left shows a light curable maskant being applied to a component. The picture on the right shows the component surface after the blasting process. 
The mask absorbs the energy of the blast media and repels it while protecting the mask's surface. Some applications where light curable maskins are used to protect engine components include nozzle guide mains, fluid line fittings, turbine discs, combustion cases, and many others. The total solution, chemistry and equipment. Aligning wavelength and chemistry is very important. If you refer to the absorption curve and benefits of LED curing shown earlier in this presentation, this alignment is essential to achieve proper cure. A mismatch will cause the photo initiators in the light curable material to not react to the wavelength and the material will not cure. Additionally, a chemistry and equipment mismatch will not provide the designed cure properties, causing failures in the avionics system assembly, PCB performance, or surface protection of an engine component during a surface treatment process. There are three main wavelengths that LED light curing equipment utilizes, 365, 385, and 405 nanometers. Each wavelength has its own features and is suited for specific applications. 365 has the best surface cure and is good for curing UV inks. 385 offers a good balance of surface cure and depth of cure, while 405 is best for UV blocking substrates. The goal to achieving a successful light curing process is to ensure that the curing system is optimized to work with the chosen chemistry. Increasing process efficiency with automated fluid dispensing systems. So when does it make sense to look at an automated fluid delivery system? The decision is typically based upon volume or if an existing system is available to work with. In the illustration, Systems shown to the left of the blue line are manually operated. To the right of the blue line are semi to fully automated systems with motion control and in some cases, custom automation. This type of equipment involves a system integration team or machine builder to work directly with the chemistry manufacturer for optimum results. So what are the process advantages associated with the automated dispense of light care chemistries onto PCBs and other aerospace components, and how can they positively impact your bottom line? Some of the advantages are control and consistency of spray pattern and thickness, control of bead placement and thickness, on-demand curing, which allows for immediate parts handling so they are ready for the next step of the manufacturing process, elimination of labor-intensive manual masking, and elimination of housing with same-day potting, dam and fill versus Fill the box approach. An application success story. This particular application required masking military printed circuit boards coated with solvated conformal coating. The process involved masking 28 plated mounting holes, 33 flush test points, and 8 through hole connectors prior to conformal coating. This application method required 19 minutes per board to apply the masking material. And the process took five operators who completed 110 printed circuit boards per day total. To increase efficiency and throughput, the manufacturer switched to a light curable maskin and automated fluid dispense system. The new process was managed by one operator, and the masking application was reduced from 19 to 5 minutes per board, saving 14 minutes per printed circuit board. Overall savings was 32 hours, Output was 96 PCBs, and four operators were available for other work. So, how do light care solutions improve a manufacturer's bottom line? Light care solutions provide process efficiencies. Light care conformal coatings with secondary moisture cure address shadow areas on high density printed circuit boards, and additional efficiencies are gained through process automation. For more information on LightCare technology, visit Dimax.com. For specific questions about your assembly process, contact one of our application engineers for technical assistance.